Well, the U.S. President Joe Biden has just ordered the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the country's strategic reserves. It's a coordinated move with some Asian nations to tackle rising global energy prices that have triggered a jump in inflation. Well, the plan involves the United States, China, South Korea, Japan and India. Uh, India reportedly plans to contribute about 5 million barrels from its emergency stockpile, while Japan has also signaled it is ready to act. Our speculation around the coordinated drawdown of strategic stockpiles has successfully driven oil prices back below $80 a barrel, uh, but they are still up more than 50% this year. The stockpile plan is uh, setting the stage for a fight to control the global energy market. OPEC plus oil exporting nations led by Saudi Arabia have slammed the move and they say the release is unjustified under current market conditions. And that demand has turned fragile due to fresh COVID-19 restrictions in parts of Europe. Well, OPEC Plus has already rebuffed Washington's repeated calls to pump more oil. Uh, the group controls nearly 80% of the world's crude reserves. And it warns that it may not restore as much oil to the global market if the release goes ahead. Making things worse, analysts warn that shrinking inventories in Asia could complicate the plan or the bulk of the region's strategic reserves is held in China, and inventories there have dropped as rebounding prices discourage restocking this year. Well, Japan also uh, faces restrictions on how much it can release, given that the vast majority of its oil comes from the Middle East. Well, for more, we're joined by Spencer Welch. He is uh, VP of Oil Markets at IHS Market. Well, Spencer, this uh, coordinated attempt to push down global oil prices, will it uh, be sufficient to combat those soaring gasoline prices and inflation? Hi, um, good to speak to you. Um, I think what they are doing is really a, a temporary measure. So, the world consumes about 100 million barrels of oil per day. And as you've just clearly said, the United States is considering release of 50 million barrels. Maybe India is going to release 5 million barrels. That, that is less than one day's worth of demand of, of oil in the world. So it will um, certainly have a downward pressure on, on price, but only a small uh, amount of pressure and only for a small amount of time. Well, yeah, and this also is Joe Biden's domestic agenda. Even though he's got Asia's major oil consumers behind him, uh, how likely will they align with the U.S. plan, though? And we, we saw how much like, India can be releasing this year. So um, in terms of alignment, I think it's probably it's more to do with their own, um, their own benefit. So they're not doing it. Um, necessarily for the benefit of the US, but net uh, oil countries that are net importers of oil, they are obviously suffering from the high prices. Um, it's, it's making, uh, it's causing inflation to go up. It's making transportation more costly. In some countries, the government is subsidizing those, those oil prices in order to keep the price control for the, the population. That's expensive for the government. So those countries um, can see their own internal benefit of trying to slightly reverse the oil price. Well, also, if such a coordinated reserve drawdown occurs, uh, any other impact uh, that Asia-Pacific will see, given that this is home to four of the world's five biggest crude oil importers? Um. So the, the, the oil market is joined up across the whole world. So as you know, the, the price, any price benefit um, will be reasonably equally felt um, by, by the different countries in, in, around the world. Um, but th there are limits on, on how much oil some of these countries can release and how much they want to release. You know, strategic reserves are, are normally kept for emergency situations. Um, and therefore, most of these countries will be unwilling um, to release uh, much oil. They want to keep that as a, as a domestic protection of supply within their, their country. That, that is less relevant to the United States. Um, the United States has 700 million barrels of, of strategic oil reserves. And that goes back to when the country was a big 
net importer of oil. Since the um, recent last 10 years surge in production from the United States, really they have much less requirement for their large amount of strategic reserves. So releasing them, selling the oil at when the market is high is, is probably a, a sensible decision. Well, thanks for that, Spencer Welch there from IHS Market.